friends in the previous video we have studied uh, that how from the diagram we are drawing the reservation table and from the reservation table how we are getting the forbidden latencies permissible latencies and the coalition vector so in this video we are going to study that how from the coalition vector we are able to draw the state diagram this was the coalition vector which we have found earlier okay this was the coalition vector i have rewritten it once again so this is the coalition vector so in which uh, so please label it this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 5 6 and 7 the places where there is zeros please rewrite that places so in one position there is zero three position there is zero six position there is zero sorry in one position there is zero three position in there is zero six position there is zero so now there is a concept that the places where there are zeros there would be that shifting will occur which means if there are if there is zero in one place so there would be a one shift if there is zero in three in three's place there will be a three bit shift if there is zero in the sixth place there will be a six bit shifting now there would be an arithmetic shifting okay now let us take the coalition vector or write the collision vector once again we have written the collision vector now there would be a one bit shift so rewrite it write it one bit shift okay what is one bit shift that this whole thing will be shifted towards it right by one shift one bit okay this means that zero one zero one one zero one and the last bit would be discarded okay so there would be a bitwise or in this step with the two things bitwise or okay he would have to perform a bitwise or now let us consider what is a bitwise or so if we have two inputs a and b so a bitwise or bitwise b bitwise or b would give us this thing so there uh, if we take 0 0 we would be getting 0 if we are putting 0 and 1 we are getting 1 1 and 0 we are getting 1 and 1 and 1 we are getting 1 okay now let us perform bitwise or in this step so a bitwise or b or sorry 0 bitwise or 1 would give 1 1 bitwise or 0 would give us 1 0 bitwise 1 will give us 1 1 bitwise or 1 will give 1 and the rest of the thing so we are getting this thing so we are writing this there are 7 ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 ones now similarly we have to do it for 3 bit for for this position which means we have to do the 3 bit shifting over here so we are doing a 3 bit shifting okay 1, 1, 3 bit shifting so 3 bit would be shifted over here which means 0 0 0 and the initial vector over here now this is 3 bit shifting over here so we are doing 3 bit shifting now bitwise or 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 okay these are 3 bit shifting we are performing so it would be 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is the thing now there is a one place is over 3 over now we have to do, do it for 6 now we have to do a 6 bit shifting with the initial collision vector 1 0 6 bit shift six bit shifting now the interesting thing which we are seeing over here that this this num this number or this collision vector is same 
with this collision vector so we would point point it to this so 6 bit shifting and 3 bit shifting gives the same collision vector to us now there is a 0 in third place so we have to do a 3 bit shifting over this collision vector again we have to do a 6 bit shifting over this collision vector okay so we are again doing 3 bit shift thing with this collision vector with collision vector 1011011 i am writing this thing okay now 3 bit shift now another interesting thing which we are seeing here that it gives the same number as it gives the same number we would do we would have to form a co loop okay a self loop is being attained over here so a self loop is being attained after performing a 3 bit shift with the present collision vector now we have to do a 6 bit shift because there is a 0 over over 6th six, sixth bit in 6th bit there is a 0 so we have to perform a 6 bit shift with this present collision vector so we are performing a 6 bit shift with the collision vector this one 6 bit shift ok so we are we would do a 6 bit shift so another interesting thing again which is occurring then we are getting the same thing see this this bit string and this bit string are the same so there would be again a self loop for for performing a 6 bit shift so this is the thing now this thing is over now another interesting thing would be that if we perform a 8 bit shift or more than 8 bit shift 8 bit or more than 8 bit shift or more than 8 bit shift we are getting the same number okay as we are getting the same number we would give this thing 8 bit shift 8 or more than 8 bit shift if we perform 8 or more than 8 bit shift with this collision vector we are getting the same collision vector and we re and if we repeat again and again we would be getting this number uh, this number okay now another concept is that if we perform a 8 bit shift we are getting this this collision vector again so if we are getting this collision vector we would write we would write or there is an algorithm that if we are getting this thing so we would point it to the initial collision vector after performing 8 or more than 8 bit shifting the same goes for this the thing is that if we are performing an 8 bit shift over here we are getting this same bit but we would write that if write that it goes to this state okay the same goes for this one also thank you guys for watching this video and if you like the video please like share and comment and if there if you have Please like, share and comment and subscribe my channel. And for any other confusion, please comment on the comment box. Thank you guys.